The A here is pronounced like the U in sun, so that D, D, and then the MC is M, M, not down. M comes out of your nose. Mm. You ever see a fish when it's in the water, it goes M, M, M. And then the KW, so this is you, that's one person. And a KW means you're asking a question. Dumb, but you don't pronounce it, just mouth the sound. Dumb, 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 dumb. The accent mark there means your voice goes up. Dumb, dumb. Allah, 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 not Allah, not. <laughs> Allah, you have to tighten the muscles. Allah, so that you push the words out. Gee, I've got a muscle there. <laughs> so don't go. That's why you're the teacher. You've been doing sit-ups? No. Yeah. <gasps> this guy said, well, my stomach gets smaller if I do sit-ups. Hello, we need to exercise the muscle, it gets bigger. <laughs> so when you greet somebody, see, here's something else too that when you start using phrases, all the phrases, you have to stop thinking in English. And it just takes some practice because we didn't do this every day. When you live in a village, uh, I was listening to this lady from Africa, came from a village there, and she said, there are no secrets. The moment that you walk outside, everybody's used to reading body language, so they know how you're feeling when they step outside. So unless they have some specific concern, they don't greet you that way. They, they, they just kind of nod to each other this way, not this, not head down, but you just raise your head like this way to acknowledge somebody. You just do this. Whereas in English, people tend to do this, but it's we take the chin up and down. So when you ask this question, don't allow, don't allow. It's been trans translated to me. Are you good? But it's asking not just a generalized question. It's asking is your whole body in, in balance? Because if any part of you is sick, the whole thing is sick. So if your arm hurts, then they notice there's something wrong, the person will say, don't go down. Or like, is everything in balance? And then the answer can be only one or two words. If the answer is positive, um, 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 again it comes from those, this NG song, um, that's answering yes, um, uh, sometimes people take a shortcut with this one and they just say, hmm, um, hmm, and, and that, that tone of voice. And then if the answer is no, it's ge, ge, not gay, ge. And uh, so if someone said to me, don't allow, and then I answer either um or gay, then I respond to them by saying, dum, dum, sin, dum, sin, dum, sin. Your voice doesn't go up on this one because this one, sin and sin are not the same words. This is sort of asking the question of R, and this one is saying, asking you also, dum sin, you also, you too, or are you? I'm feeling good, and you? Well, I'm either going to say um or gay. So, don't allow, don't allow. Can you say galam, allah, or that's that's, per, that's plural. Galam. Can you do that? Galam is, is all word? of you. If I said galam, Galum, now that's all of you. What's the KW? Yeah, Galum Pala. Galum Pala. Uh -huh. Galum Pala. How are you all? 
Is that all, you, all is good. Mm -hmm. So you just that, that's just a simple breathing. Uh, you don't have to cough it up and chew on it before you spit it out. Simple. Uh, it's just the simplest one. And this word Allah, 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 it's not just good, it's a quality of goodness. It means that everything is good, not just in my head or. Uh, so, anyway, this is as simple as you can get. <laughs> um, because it can get a bit more complicated and it depends on whether you're from Masset or Heidelberg and Skidigit and Kassan. Here's the that sin who mm, Sinu dum kedum. Sinu dum kedum. This G is pronounced like an H, and you've got a hairball. Oh, that was C. Synodum Pedum. Why don't I just go around and try it? Synodum Pedum. Synodum Pedum. Synodum. The two I's are pronounced as an E. Synodum Pedum. Synodum Pedum. Dum Pedum. See, with a, with a question, your vocal inflection always goes down. Whereas in English it goes up. So sinu sinu dum e dum. Sinu dum e dum. E dum. E dum. And if you're from Masset, dum. Sinu dum. Masset people say e dum, e dum. Or some of them that can pronounce this sound here, they'll say Adam, synonym Adam. But they'll also put a syllable in front of it. They'll say Casino in Masson. Casino them Adam. Whereas Heidelberg and Skidigit and Cassano don't put that, that other syllable in there. So here's another short one you can use uh, Synodum Adam. And that's um, that's another greeting asking a person really it just ask is, is your whole system in balance are you um, it's a quality of goodness again and and your answer is e E la tun, e la tun, e la tun. See again, here's where your voice goes up here. E la tun. Sin bu dum e dum. So it's a rhythm, it changes the way you think too when you start using a different rhythm. Sin dum e dum. Sinodum Hedum, the Lagum, the Lagum, the Lagum, the Lagum. Yeah, it's this A can be silent. Lagum, 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 Lagum. How about you? Sinodum Hedum, Sinodum Hedum, Hedum. Yeah. Just think of think of this letter here. Mm. 
if you have the word hot dog and you change this H to a G with a line under, it's hot dog. Oh, G with a line under. Hot dog. Yeah, I'm going to have me a hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> See, you can even dance with it. I'm hungry. <laughs> How do you say that? Lag, 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 lag. Oh, the G is always silent. G, what? Is it silent there? G, log. See, this pinch right here. It means if you hold it in. Sometimes the A is put there, sometimes it isn't. But it's just log because you tighten the muscles here and push the air up. Log Okay. Sinu dum pedum. Sinu dum pedum. So when you start doing that, it changes how you start to think. Then D, often they'll, they'll put the D log -n. Log -n. But a question, remember the question. When you're ask, asking a question, your vocal inflection always goes down at the end of the sentence. So when you're going strong, voila, it's like uh, you're using a la it's, it's the same. Logging is just a long, longer form of it. Yeah, okay. Um, so this is another sort of one that you can use. Um, so anyway, that text or just the, for the reading. Do you want to try it, Kelly? Sinu dum pedum. 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 Yeah. P log. Log. P log. P log. Sinica. Pedum. Yeah. Sinu dum pedum. This one. P. P. Log. Log. P log. And then now we'll try something else. This is called the substitution thing. Real, whatever. We're going to use this word here. J is gan john wood ejum. J is gan john u it eden. Ejum. Wood ejum. So. Did some of you were going to make some copies of this one? Did you get one? No. See, this word right here, eat, is we. So what you're saying, Jane and John, we are, Jane and John, we are. It's how, you, how, it, how it would be in English. But, here they translate it to Jane and John. We are Jane and John. We are Jane and John. It's Jan. It's Jan. It's like even when I, I introduce myself, I've got three hyphen names. Oh, the Anas is Jan. Kitukun is Jan. How and so on. Or when I talk about the Quailum is Gan, the Jaslum is Gan, at Atlas is my brothers and my sisters and all you good people. So that word is just, is uh, and. And this is just the marker referring to we. I guess that's what it is. Jane and John, we are J Jane and John. Uh, well, we can put some other names up there. Which <laughs> names will I put up there? Felipe. Oh, two. I filled up my page. So, Shaniko, you say it now. Shaniko, 
Üçgen kar karo ink ink the teal sound is like you know the word antler for the teal sound and antler teal ink antler ink e jump so the voice goes up to e jump Shanika scan taru taru ink ut e jump so Shanika scan tad Shanika scan tad u u ink e jump Okay, Todd. Shanika is is Gan. Is Gan. Todd A T. O E K. O E K E J. O E K E J. So we can put anybody's name in there you want, but then that this is how you're referring to uh, when there's when you're referring to more than I mean. You're saying we, but if you're just making a statement, so Todd is Gan Shaniko. That's just Todd and Shanika. So is God means and? And is Gan. He's Gan. He's Gan. Is. Now is. Is. Is Gan. Is. Is Gan. G Y A A N. He's Gan. The double A's are Pa as in Father. He's Gan. Let's see. V W. Vanessa. V W. VW? Yeah, just call me VW. It's easier to spell. <laughs> so these are some these are just some very basic things where you can refer to somebody or something. You can say pen is scan paper. <laughs> so just using that word, getting used to using that word and hearing how it sounds and how you pronounce it. Yeah. Because, see, that's what we want to do here, just introduce a few concepts at a time so that you get used to using them where you don't have to think about it. Because that's the hardest part about any language is having to think about it. But if you do drills with it, it becomes more uh, automatic, I guess you'd say. Quizzing helps. Huh? How do you say how are you? Quiz. How do we say? What do we call it? How do we say? Take some flashcards and have a yeah. little party. Um, wow. A little study group. Ganka. Allah. Allah. Ganka. Yeah. Allah. Go quiz yourself. <clears throat> Just think of this as Dunkin' Donuts. Dunk. 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 The A is like the U and Sun. Dunk. Dunk. Okay. And what does it mean? Dunk Allah. Allah. Dunk Allah. Dunk Allah. Put some food in your mouth, start chewing, and then say it. <laughs> That's how you spit it out. Watch, watch this. You think we're all going to have food in your mouth? Dunk Allah. Allah. Say Dunk Allah. Sorry. So. Don't, don't call don't call don't call don't call So it's either on or he's taking. No, I'm sick. <laughs> or you can say, okay, 
Hey, Kuna. No, I'm crazy. <laughs> Kuna is really just goofy, you know, he's just like, oh, it's okay to be Kuna, just don't be weird. So, is, is that like being a goofy drunk? Huh? Goofy drunk? No, it's just goofy. <coughs> uh, you know, like people, there's some people just like to play jokes and, and do kind of, seem like stupid things. They're just Kuna. They're, goofy. they're uh, not harming anybody. But Kuna Bala, Kuna Bala is more like uh, your mind permits you to see things other people can't see. That's when your non-compass mentis, that's when your mind is not right. Borderline, creative. Well, they can actually show you you're crazy. One foot in the dreamland, one foot on earth. One foot on the grave and the other on a banana peel. <laughs> and so you're more likely to trip on a mushroom than a banana peel. <laughs> <laughs> Trip on a mushroom. So anyway, this is the simplest greeting you can use in Haida. Don't allow. Don't allow. Don't allow. Don't allow. See, the voice goes down at the end because it's a question. How are you? How are you? In English, it's going up. Here it goes down. Don't allow. The other side had uh, Dalang Ka Allah. Oh, no, no, no. Sunu Diang. No, Sunu Dung Digang. What is that one? Where does he ask him? Remember that this is a, oh, like a pet dog. It's pronounced like a G. I mean, the G is pronounced like an H. What's the question there? This is a question. Mm -hmm. Sinu, Sinu, that's sort of asking, are you uh, good? Sinu dun he dun, Sinu dun he dun. Just practice saying it slowly. Sinu dun he dun. Come on. Sinu dun he dun. Sinu dun he dun. But skitty good is the same as higher group. And this word D is not me or I. It really refers to this person. So everybody is treated as a person rather than a gender or an owner. So we don't have that personal pronoun of I me, my, uh, but what we have is, is a word that refers to this person. Um, like, if Shanika was my niece, I wouldn't say she is my niece. I would say that person is a niece to me, or I'm an uncle to, to that person. This person is uncle to that person. So it changes how we think about each other. So instead of he and she and him and her, we're all persons. And so it takes a lot of the tension out of many of the relationships. My wife doesn't hate me, she just shot me for practice. So you gotta have some fun with them. Um, so anyway, that's what I wanted to do, is just get something very basic that we can use each time we come in. See, when we come in, um, I'll, I'll be using, I'll be using this one here. It's 
comes from Uncle Lo. Touch quick. Touch quick. That means all of you come on in. It's sort of welcome. Touch quick. I'll have to look it up later sure, because my my spelling isn't so good. Touch. Touch quick. Um, that's another way of welcoming somebody, but you're more than welcome on here inviting them to come in. Come on in, come on in. Um, and there's a word in one of our songs. Uh, hala, hala. It can mean one of two things. Either give it here or go around. And we have a song that's a gambling song. Allah, he Allah, Allah, he 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 and um, one of our stories about that is about a Simshan chief. I think they're called Samoyed. He came out of the height of life or something, and he was really very newly installed, and the game was going on. So he joined it. He got in the game. And he not only lost all of his bets, he lost his canoe, he lost his house, he lost his family, and he walked away. He was walking down the beach, and Tuck Tuck, woodpecker, saw him. He says, why are you walking with your head down? You're smart if you're supposed to have your head up. What's wrong with you? Why are you walking like that? I lost it. Oh, that's a lot. Everything. What's everything? My house, my canoe, my family. What's everything? Woodpecker started laughing. <laughs> you didn't lose anything. You threw it away. He says, what did you do to get it back? He said, I'd give anything. Give my life. And Woodpecker says, maybe I can help you, but how do I know if I can trust you? And Samoyed says, well, how do I know I can trust you? He said, that is the question, isn't it? But he said, I, Samoyed says, I got nothing left for that. He said, you got your clothes. Can you help me? I said, I would, yes. So he went back and he got in the game put his best in there, and he won. In the meantime, Woodpecker was over on the beach. So as the game went on, he was getting a little bit more confident and winning a little bit more. He glanced up, he could hear Woodpecker, but he couldn't see Woodpecker anymore. Woodpecker was on the other side of the tree. And finally, when he had everything back, he said, it's time for me to stop. Now, come on, give us a chance to win it back. No, he said, I got what I came for, and I'm not going to risk it again. So as they're walking, Woodpecker laughed out. Well, that's the name. He, he said to Woodpecker, I'm bound to you. That's in this call. When you say thank you, you're saying I'm bound to you. His wife says, why are you thanking Woodpecker? He said, Woodpecker got everything back. She said, no, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so I like that story. Man. So that's, that's, that's one of the songs that we use in that, that bone game. Hala, hala, we all are. So do you folks have any questions about like this part? Because no, I don't want to get too far into it because it gets confusing and start getting things mixed up as to which is what, like the word is can. We don't want to 
get it connected. Get it confused with this or loud and loud. If the word, if the end of the word ends with a G A N rather than G A N G, then it's in the past. Oh, I was, I was okay. <laughs> Something like yeah, we'll, we'll get it done. Oh, please later. stop! Stop now. <laughs> See, one of the things about English that really bothers me. Well, there's a lot of things, but in English, like for example, I bought something at a store, and then the clerk says, do you want a bag today? Of course I want it today, not yesterday or tomorrow, <laughs> so it's redundant. Well, ask. Are you sitting, are, are, are you here now? Well, they put the future, I'm planning in the future. Well, when you say you're planning, that means in the future. We don't have to use those words in either, but you see it quite often. People will be putting it here. Um, how, are, how are you today when you mean it, I look different from yesterday? Uh, so we don't need, we don't use words like, we don't use them that way. Our, our language is a bit more precise. Like for example, if it said George gave Sam his hat, in English you have no idea who owns the hat. But in Haida you would. Because if you said George, Gave Sam the first word in here is the person who owns it. So if George gave Sam his hat, that means George owned the hat that he gave to Sam. But if it was the other way around, And he said Sam gave George his hat. Now Sam is the one that owns it because his name is first. So Sam gave Jeff's hat back to him? No. Sam gave George <laughs> his hat. So if I'm Sam, I'm giving my hat to George. You're not giving George his hat back. No. <laughs> that would be, be a different sentence. No, oh my goodness. That would be different. Makes sense. Huh. Well, well, it would be a different sentence if Sam was giving George he was returning his own hat. Yeah, if he was returning his hat. His own hat. Returning, returning, or giving. <laughs> returning, returning or giving. <laughs> Two different things. So I can't give you your hat. Why not? It already belongs to you. <laughs> well, you took it. <laughs> See, that's why English. You <laughs> left it at his house and got drunk and left without it. Okay. Well, here's, here's something else that we, like for example, my cousin Raleigh was telling me about a guy who was writing about how smart his daughter was. And Raleigh, in telling the story, he said, gee, I didn't know anybody was that smart. <laughs> so instead of using an adjective to say somebody was super smart, he just emphasized the word. Or, Somebody might say, her hair is very white. But if somebody said, her hair is white, <laughs> then it almost shines. <laughs> so that's something that you'll hear sometimes when people are speaking English, at least in Heidelberg you hear, um, because we're, we grew up around Haida, even though, because we didn't have residential school. So we would hear things like that. And uh, also in playing with sounds, something you probably want to do yourself as you're learning, to play with the different sounds. One of the guys that was my, was my, one of my teachers, oh, 
His name was Kaju. Kaju. That's a raven who's uh, very haughty, walks around with his nose up like this. And playing with his name. Is that a J? Is no. that it's a G? Ka is walking. Yeah. But it has but you are gay. It refers to a raven walks very is snooty, you know, haughty. Mm -hmm. But playing with his name. Jew, Kaju. J. Yeah. Yeah. He became Skajus. Instead of Kaju, Skajus. What's that? This is round and voluptuous. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a, you can be round and conduction, or you can be like a crow. Is that what we're? Well, raven. Uh, this is a raven. Crow is, doesn't play much of a role. In, um, Osista is um, is a crow, but raven is the one that's really smart. And you can have fun with with uh, some of the words. Um, I was trying to remember. But mostly it's, it's playing with, with feelings. Um, for example, if you, if, you, if, you, if somebody says to you, and you say, yeah, the person that you said that to might say, oh, my. Or thing. <laughs> they don't let you feel bad for yourself. So you almost would never say no on sick. <laughs> <laughs> I was on crutches at Fort Achilles Tent. We were making a movie. So I was playing two. And I was going around with those crutches. And Charles Matcom saw me and says, What are you doing with those sympathy sticks? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so they don't let you feel bad for yourself. Uh, my mother had a big mole on her forehead, and they had it, she had it surgically removed. And when she got back home, she had a bandage on her head. And one of the other women says, Virginia, what happened? Oh, she said the doctor drilled a hole in my head to let some of the steam out. <laughs> so people don't talk about all these things, you know. The only ones that did is my cousin, we call him Fuji. His mother was a nurse and a teacher, and he was always reading. So he'd lay in his room upstairs reading, and the women had come in there, and he said, I think I could probably be a doctor. I know all the female ailments. Because <laughs> they'd come in and talk to his mother, and he'd hear them down there. But, Again, you know, they don't let you feel bad for yourself. It's, uh, they don't put you down. Um, they always assume that you're smart enough to figure things out. And if you're not, and you say, I, and sometimes a person might say, I got this far with it, but I'm stuck. And you're telling them, I'm trying. It's not just asking for the answer. So there's a lot of different little ways in which you you can give cues to the other person. Um, and it's like when the old man, when he was telling me, when I asked him about the word cue, cue, hit him again. But the word Q is that doorway. Q is that road out there. Q is a ladder. And Q is a clam. You know, wipe out, you dig them up, steam them. So I asked my uncle, Lana, his name was uh, Lana. Lana, it's a really the name. It's a village too, but that was his other name. It's always mixed. So I asked him, how come they all have the same name? He said, because that's not what they are. Now I consider myself to be a 
moderate intelligence. But that stymied me. Why do you call them that? Because that's not what they are. Okay. I can't quite figure it out. Uncle, why is it that way? He said, Q, that doorway will always take you to a certain point. Q, that road or trail out there will always take you to a certain point. Q, that ladder will take you to a certain point. Then he stopped. I said, what about the plan? Looked at me like, <laughs> are you defective? <laughs> he said, when you're walking on that beach, that clam will squirt water, lead you to a certain point. So it's a concept rather than a description of what that thing is. Whereas in Latin, where we get most of our stuff, everything is described by its physical properties. So the physical property of a clam would not be anything near to that of a road or to a ladder or a doorway. And the word peat, peat is trees. Peat is also sea lion. Tree and sea lion. How would, what would you say that why, how is a sea lion the same as a tree? Any of you care to guess? When the tree's up there and the wind's blowing, it's making this movement, right? Kind of like that. Or if it's laying in the, in the water, the roots are making those movements. When you see a herd of sea lions out in the ocean, they lay on the surface with their flippers going like this. So they both make that same movement. <laughs> So, and uh, I don't know, I, I, I don't know what the word is, but the term for tentacle on an octopus is the same term you use for washing windows. And Todd thought it had something to do with the Karate Kid, <laughs> you know, because the tentacles of an octopus go this way, and that's the same motion you use for washing windows. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> so it's because of the movements. So our languages aren't that simple, uh, yet they are, because they give you pictures of things rather than just an object. Uh, see, in, in Haida, we don't have any fractions. I think I had to use this one here before. A question in geometry. What is it that's circular in shape? It's contained in a square container and eaten in triangles. Simple. What is pizza in Haida? <laughs> a big mess. I don't know. My dad never learned to say pizza. He'd call it pizza. So here you have it. It's, it's round. It's in a square box. And you cut it into triangles. Okay. So see if you can get some of the ones in the math camps. Ask them that question. What's round? Comes in a square container. But it's eaten in, in triangles. <laughs> So, so the world, everything is really about your perception. How do you see the world? Not what is it? Because we don't really see it. We see reflection. Americans love their um, Ontario measurement system. Their what? 
Americans like inches, miles, feet. Oh yeah. But when you go look at their manufacturing plants, mm -hmm. like their cars, everything's metric. Yeah, because of the measuring. It's a lot more accurate not to have fractions. Yet there's one that's even more more uh, accurate than metric. It's called base eight. Base eight? See, metric is base 10. Oh. It's based on tens. Finally. Whereas when I looked up in the Yukon, the um, Dene uh, ceremonial house had eight sides. The Navajo, their hogans have eight sides. And so base eight is what's used in uh, space. The space programs use base eight because it's more more precise in measurements. Come on in. <coughs> Sit it up. <coughs> I can't explain it. What can explain it to you, but can't understand it for you. That's <laughs> 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 a bully shirt. Can you see that? Oh, no. Ogla. Can you see that? Ogla. You know what that means? Sit down. Kautla. But then if I say Kautla Kuna, that means sit down, dear boy. Kautla Kuna. And the lady that's sitting next to you, you call her the O. That's my mother. The O. O, Spider Man. You eat spiders? Some people do that, yeah. Anyway, we're just going through some of the very simple spiders. We're just about done now. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Okay. Um, but what, we're, what I was going over in here was um, this simple feeling when, they're, when you see somebody dunk a lot, dunk a lot. Dump along. Dump is you. I'll do the short cut. That's not any good. But it's really more than that. D -E N G K W. And the A is pronounced like the U in sun. So there's dum dum. Dun, dun. See this NG sound right here? It comes out of your nose. Dun, dun. In a KW, it's just asking a question. Don't Allah, Allah. Not Allah, Allah. And since it's a question, the voice at the, at the I mean, the sound of your voice at the end of it goes down. So, don't allow, don't allow, don't allow. So, it's asking, are you good? And if you're okay, and the two A's together are like the A and Father. Ah. 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 Um, um, is yes. Um, sometimes somebody will ask, are you good? And they say, yes. <laughs> I don't know. I went to my doctor about three weeks ago, and she asked, how are you? And I said, well, I just stopped in and see how you're doing. <laughs> Then when I left, I said, Doctor, I'll just let you know you're okay. <laughs> he said, I've never had a patient tell me that before. So that, that's the short form. And, uh, and the, answer, the answer here, when you're asked this question, is either yes or no. Ge, ge is no, on is yes. Or this is plus and this is minus. But if you want to make a, if you want to be a bit more formal,
Sinu. 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 So your voice goes up here. Sinu. Sinu. Mm. It goes up here. And this G is pronounced like an H. And what I was telling Slash is a way to remember. They say you got the word hot wrong. And you change this to a G with a line under it, and that's not dot calc. So now from a hot dog you go to half dog. You got a hairball. Half dog. So sinu um he he um sinu um he um sin sinu we put these two together. Sino, dum, he, dum. The U here is, uh, I guess it's a marker that tells you you're asking a question. Sino, dum, you, he, dum. And the positive answer. This isn't I or me, it's really referring to this person. Mm. This is a way of answering that you're on the, everything's in balance, everything's okay. So sinu dum kidum, but if you romance it, you add the syllable at the front, ka, ka sinu, ka sinu dum kidum. In Massif, they change this to more of an A, Hadum, Synodon Hadum. Some of them just pronounce it Adam, Synodon Adam, because they haven't learned to pronounce that G line, Hadum. See how boring I can get? That's why I stick with story. So, anyway, these are the simplest. Uh, Simplest ways of doing that. Oh well, what story? Maybe you guys can help me. What story? <coughs> huh? I've been posting stuff on um, Tlingit and Haida Indians of Alaska, all Haida, all Haida, something like that, and uh, Haida language learners group, something like that. I haven't been able to post anything on there because normally when it, when it uh, comes up, it'll ask what are you thinking or what do you, what do you want to write. It doesn't come up on mine anymore. So I don't know if um, I did something wrong because when, when I just post just under my name, Woody Morrison, no problem there. But normally I've posted about three or four different places and um, I haven't been able to do that for about a week now. Maybe somebody is saying to me, quit now. I think it's just the companies because like you see back home, like a handful of high that's been saying that there is no reception back home in Massive. Mm -hmm. And that's with like Dudu, um, Virgin, Telus, and Shaw. Yeah, Telus. And they they had no reception. They had no audits. Like nothing, no service. Some of them were really freaking out because there was a couple hours or something like that worldwide uh, tweet. Yeah. People couldn't tweet whatever that is. So did anybody have any questions or? Good. Um, mm. So uh, our next class is uh, Sunday. Oh, there's going to be a, a drum practice or a song practice. Do we have all the words for the song? Just, um, just one or two songs. And then we'll throw a copy in the room. Um, 
And you can tell people too after this Sunday that they bring their kids, I'll bring some coloring material. So like a t-shirt, I got I'll have I'll get some crayons, I've got some of the things for them to color. So they can be doing that because they hear everything, even if they're doing something else. And they'll learn quicker than we do. Well, I was telling him on our way here, well, all the guys talking to me, I said, when we go to the talk, I said, um, Jean wants you to learn. He doesn't want you on there at home. He what? I said, I, he doesn't want you on the phone. Yeah. And he well, said, so see, when Jimmy talked to me, I said, you just listen. See, the thing about the phone is different from when you're, when you're doing other things. Okay. You're actually listening. While you're doing those other things, but when you're looking at that screen, you're not thinking about anything. You're just things are just coming in. You just really don't hear anything. Well, it takes some cut them off electronics, especially like um, one thing I've learned is uh, when it does that, it's messing with the brain waves. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, and I uh, told perceptions. Uh, I, yeah. What is it called? I perceptions. I told Frequencies. some teenagers that. Um, those cell phones, we call them zombies because they eat brains. Yeah. And they don't even have to look for you. You're walking around, say, take my brain, take my brain. <laughs> they like that. <laughs> Remember that, the zombies. You gotta get you out of your head. <laughs> yeah, I've gotta get you out of your head. Uh, it really bothers me too is when I'm driving or I'm on my bicycle. <laughs> And somebody's got earphones on because they can't hear you coming. I've seen people on, even on skateboards, they're 